Mr. Otter Studio. So I told you I'd be showing you how to use cardboard to make a mold of something that has a little bit more detail. So I'm going to be using this Stormtrooper, Captain Phasma. So I'm going to be using cardboard to make a mold of this Stormtrooper and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So all you need is the object that you're gonna be molding. Now you wanna mold something that won't soak up the water, so plastic works great. I wouldn't be doing this of like stuffed animals or anything like that because that will soak up the water from the cardboard. So you need some cardboard and I'm gonna be using rubber bands to hold it on. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is soak our cardboard until it starts to come apart. And I have a small sink, so I'm probably gonna be breaking it into pieces. So the next step would be to break up your cardboard. Another supply I forgot to tell you about, scissors. Since we're using scissors, I would ask for an adult's help. Okay, so now that I've broken this into pieces, after you break it into pieces, you wanna put it in water. You could put it in a bathtub, a big Tupperware thing full of water. I'm gonna be using this sink over here. This is my really dirty sink in my studio, so I'm just gonna fill it up, soak the cardboard in it. So my bottom pieces are pretty much already ready and you can tell they're ready because they're they're just coming apart. There's three layers. There's like this middle waffly wavy layer and then the layers on the sides. I like this top layer. So I'm gonna use this layer to wrap around. So I'm gonna get a piece that's big enough for the leg. Nice thing is it's super easy to tear. I'm just gonna wrap it around the leg. Okay, so to hold it on there, I'm gonna use a rubber band. You have to be careful because it will tear really, really easily. Now I kinda want it to have these different grooves, especially like here on the knee. So I'm just pressing it in there. Then I'm gonna use a rubber band to hold it down here. So whatever you're molding, you know, just choose nice points to secure it on. It's almost like you're kind of sculpting with it, just trying to capture these little details. Once you completely cover it in wet cardboard, smooth out any of the details and let it dry completely. And then I'll show you how to attach all the pieces. All right, once your cardboard is dry and you're ready to take it off of whatever you've made a mold of, first take all of the rubber bands off or whatever you've used to hold the cardboard in place. <laughs> After it's dry, you want to take the cardboard off carefully, starting with the outer pieces, and then we're going to attach them back together. You can take a picture of it if you want to remember how things looked. This is the tricky part. Now we've got to put this all back together again. So I'm going to be using a glue gun, but you could use anything, really. Just anything that's going to connect these pieces together. Make sure you ask an adult for help. So here is the Stormtrooper, Captain Phasma, made out of cardboard, and it's pretty sturdy. As you can see, I can just flip it around. Wait, this is an awesome way to use cardboard. I mean, you can make so many different projects using this. You know, you could make something new instead of just copying something. Maybe you could use a few different found objects and put them together. I just think that a lot of people overlook this cardboard molding. And cardboard is plentiful. There's usually a lot of cardboard around and I think that it has some really cool results. You can still see details. If you work a little bit harder, you can see even more. Have a wonderful day and we will see you around on YouTube. Make sure not to throw that stuff away that you could be using to make incredible things.